But I think everybody knows the hidden clause that we stand on business for Texas, and we got to start voicing that more as well. You know what I mean? I so see a lot of that in my comments too, especially on my cowboy song. Cowboy. See everything big in Texas. Give me that horse like a beat. I'm a wreck it. I ain't never had a country boy that say he respected. Better yet alone he from Texas. They like, hey, this, this, this Texas right here, like, did you, you know, cause it's cowboy. Big X, Big X made we... that Texas song too. Don't okay. play. Hey, see y'all from Texas. Texas. We got Beyonce, try the truth, and we can't forget Devin. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. This Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you gotta think about it, man. You know. Dallas is in the in this early like even in the seventies when I was coming out here in the eighties it was tough man concrete j jungle it was hot you know what I'm saying <laughs> like, South Dallas Bad Bear Dallas. Street <laughs> we you know we had to car wash on Sundays uh, later on down the line we over at uh, Bobby's you too young to know about that mm -hmm. we over at uh, 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 UTB. <laughs> You, yeah. you don't know nothing I know, about that. I know that. about UCB yeah, Stan, there. Shout out to Stan, <laughs> my guy. You know what I'm saying? You over at, you, uh, let me give you something else. Uh, anime. Yeah, I the know The Ghetto about Club. Me. House of Jocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a real one. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. this, this is where we, on Lamar. Catfish Smell. Oh, yeah. And then they done shut the other one down up there on Hatch. I'm mad about that. Yeah. Well, hell some cats want the same no more. Yeah, because yeah, the fish got thinner and thinner nah, as it was, we it went. Was, it wasn't hard or nothing. I don't know what happened to yeah. Top Cat. Top Cat used to be I think it was because they messed that, they, you know, messed the highway up and you couldn't get over there to it mm -hmm. and the fish just lost its quality. Yeah. <laughs> it was something, man. Because that was, they, you know, Top Cat's, yeah, that was so, really lit. <laughs> Them jumbos, everybody. Like, no, nah, man, I enjoy under the bridge over there, you had some hell of a people over there under that bridge. Still do. I'm talking about they was there. When they got off of work, they were there. If they didn't go to work, they was there. They worked there. That's why they worked there. <laughs> Get you some washing powder and some, <laughs> some bleach while you down there. <laughs> Everything. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Say, so, they still go so do, do, you all, do you always go back over there every oh, time yeah. you come back? I'm always in Sam Dallas. Because you, you done moved to Houston now. Mm-hmm. Which, which does not make me a Houston artist. Third I'm a Ward, Dallas artist. Third Ward Kiki. Third Ward Kiki. Bill. That's so what they call me. They say third Ward Kiki, man. I'm, I'm still <laughs> sitting at a Kiki. Who was the, who, was the, who was the first person to call you third Ward Kiki? It's a, it's used to people telling me like you like gonna go change your name. You know what I'm saying? Cause Dallas don't appreciate you. Nah, they just I, it be jokes, but it's really cute. You know. It's wow. Really so who called you? Who who called you South Dallas Kiki for the first time? Uh, Money Man Rado. <laughs> <laughs> Money Man Rado, and it kind of stick like a lot of people. Well, because they'll be like, you could be talking and be like, you talking about uh, Kiki, and they be like, you who, who Kiki? You talking about Black Kiki from South Dallas? They always say that. So I don't know. It kind of stuck. So when people talk, so I just, you know, when my page got hacked one day, I had to change my name. I said they always seen the girl South Dallas Kiki, and I put that on her, and it just went up. Wow, you know, the one thing I can say, man, is, you know, when I look at you, you, you moved and you go down to Houston, I worried about the fact, would you would you be able to get the chemistry with the music moving to Houston? Yeah. Like, going to those studios, the new places that you you ending up at now, like, how's the vibe? What's the difference? Mm, I haven't really just started, I'm just now about to get out there, I ain't gonna lie, I just, I'm just now about to start working. I went to the studio once in Houston, it wasn't it wasn't giving me what, what I'm used to. Um but I definitely want to work with because okay. um because you know that's a Mo three thing. So yeah. yeah, long live three, I gotta do that. Um so I haven't hit him I hit him up, but I ain't went to him yet. So that's my next step when I get back. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to because and we're gonna knock some out. I think it's gonna be dope with him though. Wow, you know, it, you've been in the media a lot. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, being South Dallas Kiki, uh I seen half pint the other day having an interview and uh do you really have to be from Dallas to claim Dallas? Yes the fuck you do. Can y'all stop saying that half pint? I love you. No, you are not a Dallas artist if you're not from Dallas. What I mean, you can come to I'm a, I'm not a Houston artist. I'm in Houston. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go out there, I'm finna work with people, I'm finna do I am still a Dallas artist. Uh I don't know why people just say anything. I think people say stuff now just to make somebody have something to talk about because that's ridiculous. How are you a Dallas artist and you're nowhere near from Dallas? Like they tell me I'm not from San Dallas all the time and I've been in San Dallas all my life. So I, then how can you tell somebody that they're a Dallas artist and they just got to Dallas last week? Wow. Um, I, but does, I, it, does it depend on how long that person's been here? Because if, if that person moved here when they were 10, 
and been repping Dallas the whole time. Do you still consider them Dallas artists, or that are they? Be. I, I, I don't know. I can see that, but yeah, because a lot of people say uh, Megan The Stallion right. didn't graduate. She gra- she was from San Antonio and, and now Houston. Houston. And now Houston because she, she graduated. But she read yeah, Houston in San Antonio, from what I'm hearing. I don't know that allegedly. Thanks. You know, San Antonio want to claim her because she hot. I mean, I would too, but now she she know what she is. She why she say Houston. Oh, I'm so fine. you just switched it up. Huh. I, baby, I'm not no, slow. I'm no. not slow at all. San Antonio, what you just San Antonio did was you switched it up. If, if, I, if I went to, okay, if I graduated from college in Houston right now and I'm hot like I am right now, it's Houston people already right now be like, fuck that, we got we got third one kiki. They trying to claim me. So why would they try to claim Meg? But Meg is not on her saying, I'm a San Antonio artist. What she say? She ran Houston all day, baby. She know where yeah. she from. So that's yeah. why I'm just saying. And you got to be true to your roots. Well, the girl I'm that had to probably had on that rep in Dallas all day, nigga. Let them rep Dallas. What you that's talking about? Paint them going on our focal paint. I don't even know her. But uh, I run this Dallas shit when it comes to female. I don't give a damn. I think you really just Ooh, kind of, you getting up. the attitude towards somebody claiming Dallas. You really, really <laughs> one of them ones, man. You really being wrong for that. You don't want a nigga to claim Dallas. Oh. So you, because you sound Dallas Kiki. That's not going to take away from my life. You standing hard that's on it. You I'm standing on business. Like, I'm not letting you claim I'm Dallas. I'm not going to when it comes to Dallas all day. It's not going to take away from my life. It just be funny to me that they allow females, even niggas though, just to come from other cities and come over and act like they run shit. But it, when I say that, I made a status about it, but when I say that, I'm talking to my Dallas people because it means we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Well, let me just stop you there just for a minute, baby. I'm not okay. from Dallas. I'm from East Texas. Okay. And let me just say this. I've been up here, though. I had free lunches over there off uh, over there off uh, Sanger and Beckley uh-huh. at the park <laughs> with these niggas in the 70s. But I ain't been, a, I'm, yeah, I'm older than these niggas. You I've been putting East down Texas. more work than these niggas. But you better believe if anything happened, East Texas tatted right here on my chest. That's chair, what I'm saying. So you I know your never. roots. You know your roots. Yeah, nigga, because that's why I talk like this. So I would, tell my your uncle people. Them up under that tree, nigga. Tell and people I promise that's coming you, over here to Dallas. My granddad will roll over this grave right now. I'm from Smith. If you say you from where I'm from, from Smith. Okay. I'm from Gas Center. I think maybe it's a new age thing. But at the end maybe of the day, don't, don't get it twisted. I, I, I bought a lot of stuff up here in Dallas. I ain't yeah. gonna say what. You know what I'm saying? But these but niggas you know had oozes on the table. As long as you know where your roots are. <laughs> Oh, you know nah, so even when your roots is there, but you don't visit, you don't go back, you still going to rep there? Yeah. Oh, why would you? Why would you not? Why would you not, though? That's the thing. That's the thing that you're supposed to be visiting. You're supposed to be going back. Even, you know, but if you don't and you just sneak there, it's a lot of people who don't, you leave. fake. Why is you claiming anybody? What is you rapping about? Because you, you have a lot about? of people who will get famous <laughs> and leave and but never you, go let, back. Let me, let me stop y'all for a minute, too. As you, as, now, hip hop is different. Yeah. You really, you really, I get upset with a lot. I don't say this often, but I'm going to go and break it down today. This is an exclusive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, okay. Houston and Dallas and East Texas and all of them need to get off the boo boo. Mm-hmm. We are from Texas, right? And let me tell you something, pimp. That's why I'm a pimp C fan, like I am, because he rep Texas, right? He never UGK Bun B them rep Texas, right? When you look at all these other folks, don't get me wrong, they love Houston and they love now Bun a, a little more because he was born in Houston. He rep, but pimp. Pimp was at Texas, made short Texas. That's what made me. And he was he was from Louisiana, right? But he came up here and he stood on business when he came to Texas. As a kid, he came up here. You see what I'm saying to Port Arthur. So what I'm saying is, we really, really need to break down these dividing walls when it come to Texas. Because if we could do that, then we, you know, we could. You know how much paper we could get? Oh, yeah. We already do it, but when we go to each city, we rep our city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think. Everybody knows the hidden clause that we stand on business for Texas, and we gotta start voicing that more as well. You know what I mean? I so see a lot of that in my comments too, especially on my cowboy song. Cowboy. See everything big in Texas. Give me that horse like a beat. I'ma wreck it. I ain't never had a country boy that say he respected. Better yet alone he from Texas. They like, hey, this, this, this Texas right here, like, did you, you know, because it's Cowboys. Big, it's ass, big ass made it. that Texas song, too. Don't okay. play. Hey, see y'all from Texas. Texas. We got Beyonce, try the truth, and we can't forget Devin. Big shout out. Hey, that's my boy. That nigga, that nigga that killed that Texas that's song. That's my boy, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why I rock with him. He been on Boss Talk, yeah. too. Shout out to Big X to pull. And they talk the about him. The nigga who pulled up. They the nigga who him. pulled up to Boss Talk 101. Okay. Show Boss Talk, love. Like he don't, don't pull up. Don't talk about him. I don't act like he just don't pull up now. <laughs> 
I fucks with you. No, it's a bunch of people that pull up, but at the end of the day, I always value those guys. Yeah. Man. Do you but value me? Because you talk a lot of no. Really, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still <laughs> trying to understand the algorithm of South Dallas. Oh Kiki. my you know god. What I'm saying? I gotta understand what's really going down with the South Dallas Kiki movement. Man. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm really disappointed in the. I need more music from you. you right. We need more. We need more developing artistry from you when it comes to online presence. I need to see yeah, you more. Yeah, because you're not posting. I'm like not you're seeing you to. like that. So that's a thing that really upsets me about your brand. Okay. Is that you? You hide all week, and then you yeah. come out with your hair done on the weekend, uh -huh. and nobody cares about that. Where was you at all week? We are fans of South Dallas Kiki. We really getting really. Sh where the where you, right. you, right. you, right. you know right. what I'm saying? Where you at? You right. So I think that's a problem. I think you need to get strategic. I think you need to show yourself more to the people who love you and your movement will really it'll permeate out of Texas. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.